All right, just got here to Travis Birch's place. Got his shop set up. He uh, makes lots of soft plastics. You can see he's got tons and tons of molds. So he can cover just about any type of uh, bait from Ned rigs to worms to creature baits to swim baits you know brush hogs i mean you name it he's got he's got molds galore and this of course is travis say hello. hi travis hello average joes all right so he's gonna be uh showcasing how he does his stuff today and uh pour some pour some baits up and get some good colors in we're gonna do some like some june bug some chartreuse stuff like that see all his uh, setup here he's got you know different colors so he's and got someday someday soon mm -hmm. there'll be a lot better setup pegboards and everything but I'm building a house right now so my whole house is in here yeah. so it's just kind of <laughs> two different mm -hmm. yeah, we're just trying to get some color match stuff going here now we're gonna work on South Africa special June bug and uh, I guess what you would call like a solid chartreuse or a milky chartreuse or something like that that's gonna be the the three that we're gonna focus on so like I said we're still getting set up still picking out the different flakes all that so we get a little bit closer we'll start up again uh, so like I said, did you know customizing and stuff to your own specs and uh, bait styles, bait colors, different types or amount of uh, flakes, colors, all that stuff. As you can see, I mean, this is how many uh, different molds and stuff that we'll be able to pour uh, multiple baits at a time, from preacher baits to shaky head worms to brush hogs. Uh, you know, swim baits, all different kinds of stuff we're going to be doing right down the line. And like I said, since this is new to me and I've never seen it done before, it's pretty cool. Yeah. He's got the uh, soft plastic is, uh, you know, melted down soft now, so he's testing uh, color-wise to see how close, you know, it's uh, going to be to... Yeah. I'll interrupt, but there's a test of the... Is that the South Africa? Yeah, so I probably need a little bit more black. But yep. We'll compare it yep. to yours. Yep, cool. This is pretty cool. I can see what he means by uh, kind of addictive, man. Because you're literally uh, making your own baits, literally. <laughs> so now he's going to test, uh, he's testing the June bug color. That looks pretty freaking close, doesn't it? We'll see. That looks pretty close. We'll let it dry and we'll yeah. go from there. I mean, it keeps it mixing. Yeah. So as soon as I'm done for the day, I'll show you the bottom of the one. Yeah. So we're talking about the motors on here. They have the paddles that keep everything mixed up and get the bubbles out, stuff like that. So if it wasn't mixing, all that glitter would settle to the bottom like yeah. that. And it would yeah. create a real messed up bait. So when I turn off the pots, all that glitter just settles. Ah. Uh, so. so that's... Uh, and that's something having those mixers in there keeping everything liquid and mixed up well. Yeah. So we're still getting the colors down pat. So kind of to give you the point of this machine, um, it makes it real convenient. So before I used to use a microwave, which happens to be down here. Mm -hmm. I used to microwave them one, two cups at a time and make my baits. Yeah. Well, you'd have to re-microwave, re-microwave, and it just got real annoying. So I found this Ultra Molds, uh, Shooting Star by Ultra Molds on the internet. Um, it takes about two or three months to get them, but yeah. it mixes two pots at the same time. Yeah. And the cool thing about it is we all like throwing two color baits. Yeah. Well, say I'm making black, and then I'm also making June, but to say I wanted to make a combo, mm -hmm. I come here to this middle spigot ah. and go like this. And it draws from both pots. It draws from both pots, mixes half it. and half color. Wow, that's cool. So, uh, it's real neat. Yeah, so that's how you make like a sour grape or a yep. we'll make some of those green too. pumpkin chartreuse laminate, yep. you know, stuff like that. That's cool. Yeah, we're gonna do a test pour and see uh, 
how those colors do, how they're uh, going to come out. You just hold pressure for a couple seconds if you guys get into making your own mm -hmm. home baits at home. Hold pressure for a couple seconds and top it off. Yep. Yeah, it's topped it will, off. It will, draw, it will draw it down too. Uh -huh. So a lot of times you'll want to re-drop it off. This is a small mold, but if I was shooting these bigger molds, they'll oh, draw yeah. down some it, plastic. It especially, some. especially like a big uh, brush hog. Yeah, yeah. Big it's, swim bait. It's takes, drawing down a little bit. Yeah. It takes a lot of plastic to um, make a big bait like a brush hog or you know big paddle tail swim bait. So that first one was the June bug. Now we're gonna uh, do the uh, South Africa special. Check that out. And I said this first one is just gonna be test pour to check for consistency of color and all that. Trying to replicate a bait you like. Yep. These are both proven colors that I've caught lots of fish on. So uh, we're gonna check them out. All right, here we go. It's the moment of truth. <laughs> Let's see how close we got. Yep. This is, uh, like I said, you can always darken it. Yep. You can never lighten it, so we're yep. trying to replicate yep. this That's... color. So they've got it a little darker. They probably have a couple drops of black in there just to uh -huh. darken it up. But I think we got the, yep. probably the right amount of glitter oh, in there. Yeah. So I'll add a couple drops of black to your yep. uh, that side to darken it. Yep. And that's why we do a test pour. I mean, that... That shows us where we're at and what we're aiming for, so. Yeah. I mean, this is, we're trying to replicate. Yeah. That was the June bug. Yep. Yeah. Now this one's the South Africa Special. Which is just black with a lot of glitter. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Heck, I don't know about you guys, but that one looks pretty spot on, doesn't it? I probably wouldn't play with that one. The only, yeah. thing, the only thing I didn't like is I only had big gold. Yeah. But other than That's that. That's okay. Other yeah. than that, I don't think I'll mess with that one. Yep. So the uh, South Africa Special looks pretty much right on. And um, we'll just try and darken up that uh, June bug just a little bit and see if we can get a little closer. That's two drops per cut. Yeah. It's pretty close. Yeah. We need to just add a little more black there. Right shade of purple. Yeah, we'll let that uh, mix in and stuff, and then we'll try another pour here in a minute. Right, we'll do another test run here, see how that uh, June bug color is looking now. Just trying to get an accurate reading because some of that stuff in the lines might mm -hmm. have got that black, so I'm yep. just kind of mixing it up a little bit before I do a test. And of course, stuff like that, stuff you learn yes. along the way in the process. Just like anything, you don't know all the the uh, tricks and stuff like that until you actually start doing it. You waste a lot of plastic, but at the same time, yep. it's still way cheaper. Yep. There we go. It's got more of that black color to it. Yep. So now we'll wait for this one to uh, dry, and then we'll... Uh, Take a look at it and see how close we got this time. Shoot the, uh, I'm gonna shoot all the grape first. Yeah. Just because I don't want to go from black to grape. Yeah. All right, so we're back at it. We're gonna do our uh, June bug color first, and then we're gonna shoot some uh, South Africa special after that. Get the one good mix real quick. Thirteen molds all at the same time because he's got this set up here and it allows him to be able to shoot, you know, 13, 14 molds at a time. Comes with an air compressor over here and that helps hold all the molds together so they don't uh, leak or anything like that. You can see he's got this down. All 
right, moment of truth. All right, so we've just shot all the molds with the uh, June Bug Florida Grape color. Go ahead and demold them here. Yep. So this first mold, and I don't have all my molds labeled, so we're just going to have to be a surprise when they open them. Yep. Okay, so this first mold is the small brush hog. So it's like a four and a half inch, yep. I believe, when you get my tape measure. Yep, they call them, uh, sizes. not quite the baby brush hog, but like brush hog junior. It is a 3.75, so yep. pretty short little brush hog there. We're going to demold that. This one is similar to the Scratch King, I think they call it the oh, Rage the Rage, Tail. Rage Menace. Uh, Rage Menace, nice. yeah. yep. So Really good trailers. Really good trailers. You can rig them vertically on a chatterbait yep. or a horizontal for flipping, all kinds of stuff. Yep. Make six of those at a time in that mold. Yep. Next thing we got is our Kitek. The Kitek, uh, like fat swing impact mm -hmm. uh, paddle tail basically is what this these is the, are. Yeah, this is the big version too. This. Mm -hmm. Oh no it ain't, this is the small one. Yep. Okay, so this is the 3.8, it's bigger than the yep. baby. Yep. So I have a 2.8 as well that we're not shooting. Excellent blade yep. of just trailers there too. This is the 3.8. So one one thing that a lot of people don't talk about, uh, I was calling Kitex, is sometimes just by simply cutting the flat part of the paddle off, mm -hmm. For a bladed jig, causes all the difference in the world. It causes a different vibration on the tail for a trailer. So if you can't get bit on a paddle tail, yep. sometimes just snip off the sides. Yep, it makes a big difference. Yep. And this is a fluke. Ah, oh, yeah. So this Look is a bigger fluke. Got to pull this one out slow because it's got the hook slot. And you don't want to rip the bait. Mm-hmm. Pull them out nice and even and slow. Can you see okay on there? Oh, yeah. Okay. Same those, thing with the paddle tails yep. when you're those when you actually go to pull a paddle yep. out of the little slot. You'll rip that yep. tail right off and start shooting these at home. And those flukes are almost just like throwing like a, a Senko or something. You Texas rig them, and especially weightless around like grass and stuff like that. And boy, they will get hammered. Look at there. I'm a huge Z-Man fan, but yeah. I also like to throw my own Ned Rigs because they float a little bit more. Uh -huh. um, I like Z-Man because you can catch 100 fish yeah. per bait, but if you don't mind changing your bait every you know, four to five fish, yeah. I'm actually catching a few more fish on a, yeah. uh, a plastic version yep. of Ned Rig than I am on Z-Man, but man, I love Z-Man because it lasts. Yep, that Elastec is something else. Yep. This is my 6.75 brown worm. I do have the same mold. Um, it has an attachment where you can do one side of the worm flat. Yep. yep. So 6.75. Good shaky head worm yep. there. So this is pretty cool. I mean, this you know, seeing this when you never experienced it is pretty is pretty cool. So if you really get a system going, and you get two people working together. Mm -hmm. You can have one person be molding. And I can have two sets of molds going through here. Why I can bring all 14 over here, let them be mold, yep. set another 14 in here and shoot them, because I have a whole other table full of mm -hmm. molds back there. Yep. This is the uh, super similar to the smaller Strike King uh, Rage Crawl. Mm -hmm. The only difference is it has extra tentacles on the body. Yep. But other than that, it's in the water. It looks almost identical. Yep. So pretty cool little bait. Mm -hmm. Great flipping bait. Got that same bait in a bigger one as well. Bigger one. Yeah, here's the yeah, this is the so bigger same, one. Same bait, but this one's a four or four yeah. and a quarter. I can't remember. But yeah. Yeah. Heck, you could Texas rig that one all by itself. You oh. could put it on a jig. You, I mean, there's. I do know. a lot of flipping with this one. Yeah, just straight up flipping and pitching with that on a Texas rig, or like I said, you could also put it as a trailer on a jig. I wish they made this mold and one that made it like. 15 or 20 at a time. Yeah. They call this the knuckle dragger for the mold if you yeah. guys want to buy this mold. Yeah. But, Good um, it's creature bait. It's similar to um, Strike King's little, I think it's a rage bug or something yeah. like that. But yeah. uh, man, it's got cool action. So yeah. I think this is in a four inch as well. Good long flappers on there. Yeah. It's got all four of them too, yeah. so it really gets it going. And I got basically their, their version of their beaver. 
this Molt Company's version of their Beaver in a similar profile bait. Mm -hmm. A little bit better for you know that colder yeah. water. Yeah. Not quite as crazy action, yeah. but a great flipping bait. Yeah. Which you can separate those into individual flaps, or you can leave them as one big flap. Yep. That's so the yeah, way. In the summertime. Yep. I'll take every single one of these appendages. Yeah. It's got tentacles. Yeah, tentacles. It's got two flappers. And your flappers or pinchers. Yep. So yep. summer and spring, yep. I'm throwing it with yep. all that different action. Yep. In the wintertime, yep. I throw it all connected. Yep. And I know that average Joe. Your roommate, right? That's Wesley. So <laughs> nice uh, big brush yeah, hog. There you go. The baby brush hog real well. Yeah, everybody here in this area, they know brush hogs work. They know it. You got a standing timber, you know, brush pile, stuff like that. Same mold. I just ordered two of them because it's such a popular mold. Yep. One two more molds here that I bought from a guy that was going through divorce just to help him out. He I think he had these custom made. It's just like a flipping hog. It's got like a brush hog profile, but it's got more of your claw-like features to it. So, but it's a real good bait. Um, and then he also sold me his little lizard mold that he had. Yeah. Uh, so, you guys that like to, especially in the spring, if you like flipping, pitching crawls, or I mean uh, lizards for uh, bedding fish, or like me, I, I've always thrown lizards on Carolina rigs, and, and they've always worked really well for me. Now I've always thrown them. Yeah. 